When programming an autonomous, the easiest thing to do is to guess how long it takes to reach the desired distance. For simple tasks, this may get the job done. However, using preset time values is very unreliable, and these values can change depending on factors like surface friction and battery voltage. This can be improved by the use of sensors. Using sensors to control your robot is a great way to take your completed robot to the next level. Sensors allow you to control your robot based on physical values rather than time. This seems like it would solve all of the problems discussed previously. However, this problem is not that simple. By the time your robot reaches the desired value, it is still in motion and will overshoot its mark. The solution to the sensors problem? A PID control loop. The PID loop finds the correct motor speed by adding together three terms, denoted by P, I, and D, which stand for proportional, integral, and derivative. In order to easily talk about the PID loop, we should define the term error. Error refers to the difference between the current sensor value and the desired sensor value at any given P time. P term is directly proportional to the error at the current time. In code, this would be a constant times the current error. This causes the robot to move at a high speed when far away from the endpoint, and more slowly when closer to the endpoint. This helps prevent overshooting your mark. With this term alone, you will probably see that the robot oscillates around the desired value. After correctly picking the constant, it should undershoot the value. The I term is based on the accumulation of error over time. In code, this would be another constant times the sum of all errors measured. If the sensor value spends too much time away from the endpoint, the I term will be able to correct for this. When tuned correctly, this will compensate for the undershoot from the previous P term. The PI control loop we have constructed so far can be sufficient, but adding the final term may be desirable in some cases. The D term will pull the sensor value towards the desired value based on the rate of change of the error. In code, this would be the third constant times the difference between the current error and the previous error. Therefore, if the P and I terms are small, this term will be small, but if the P and I terms are large, this term will also be large. Usually, the D term will make the motion quicker, but could potentially introduce an overshoot. If the D term is designed to counteract the P and I term, it can make the motion smoother but slower. The PID control loop is a great way to strengthen your robot's precision. PID loops are great with shaft encoders when measuring the robot's position, potentiometers when measuring the robot's lift angle, and even gyroscopes when measuring the robot's orientation. The possible implementations are endless and will certainly give your robot an edge over your competitors. All right.